Hey everyone, today is a bit of a different video. I'm gonna be talking about real estate. Uh, I'm actually in one of the apartment complexes that I purchased about six months ago. I'm gonna be walking through with you exactly what I've done over the past six months to improve the equity of this property by over $500,000 and how I'm using the equity to actually improve my businesses. So where I'm at right now is actually kind of like the storage locker area slash a laundry room for this facility. So there's not any sort of washer dryers in any of the units, but here we have a storage facility for each of the units. You can see the numbers here corresponding with each of the units. This is a 10 unit apartment complex. I purchased this in October of 2021. Uh, and uh, I'm gonna show you around today. I'm gonna show you what we do and uh, what we've done to improve the place. So in this room, we had to light it up. So we brought some more lights in, uh, obviously trying to make it just a nice place for the, the tenants to be. Liz is the property manager here. She gets a percentage of all the rents in exchange for all the work that she does. <clears throat> so obviously these are uh, the type of stuff that we would put around here. But we put it here for the tenants, trying to make it a nice place. And we made a about $150 per month from the coin operated laundry. It's not a lot, like we're definitely not trying to make a bunch of money. It's 75 cents for a dryer and a dollar for uh, a washer. And, and like, honestly, I don't plan on raising that. And so uh, this is kind of a nice place and we actually give them quite a bit of stuff just to be able to help the tenants, uh, kind of a wash basin here. So just kind of clean this place up, make it look a little bit nicer, brought in some lights. It was a little bit dingy and dark. Mercy, you got water down here. That's not good. This looks like there might be a leak. Hmm, look at this. This is interesting. All right, so I'm actually have to take a look at this because there is some water. You can see right here, sitting right up against the hot water heater. So I don't think this is, anything's wrong with this one. Um, these are both actually relatively new, only a couple years old. There might be a leak somewhere in the bottom of this sink. <sighs> Anyways, I'll have to take that, take a look at that, let Liz know. Um, but definitely some standing water. Just a tiny little puddle right there. It could actually honest, honestly just be someone spilt something. It's literally just sitting right here. Could have been like uh, someone just spilled some water. But anyways, uh, let me go ahead and show you outside. There is someone moving in today. So I want to be a discreet, obviously. Uh, no one out here knows I'm the owner. I do live here in one of the apartments. It's a one bedroom, one bath. So um, I'll show you outside though, kind of set some of the things that we did. I do gotta be quiet because it's actually a really nice and quiet neighborhood where this is at. And so they'll be able to hear me. So I just gotta be careful. So let me go ahead and show you outside here. Turn off the light. So what we have is five units over on this side and then five units over on this side. You can see someone's moving in today into unit number two. Uh, and it's a two bedroom, one bath. One thing that we still do need to do is paint the lines. You can see it's very hard to uh, you know, see any lines for the parking. We're gonna improve that and uh, just make it a little bit nicer, uh, but we gotta wait for the weather to improve. As you can see, it's still March and uh, lots of rain we still have. We cleaned this all up. This was an absolute mess. This tree was all the way down. All this was overgrown and you couldn't see from one side of the property to the other. So we just cleaned all of that out and uh, just try to make it improve it. Once the spring rolls around, we'll probably put some mulch down, make it a little bit nicer. But then we also, in terms of the landscaping, installed this fenced area. This is a way for us to be able to have People put their pets in here or, you know, let them run around, uh, get some steam off for their kids. Uh, and then obviously over here, you can see some of the tenants moving in and out here. But yeah, five units on the side. Half of them are two bedroom, half of them are one bedroom. And uh, we don't do a lot in terms of renovating them. These are 1970 units. So I'm not gonna try to over improve them and make them 2000 or $2,500 per month rentals. Uh, we take these and we try to make them for a family, affordable housing. And honestly, in, in our area, anything under $2,000 per month for rent is actually relatively cheap. The main reason I actually bought this property is the fact that across the street is a really, really nice private school. And this whole neighborhood, there's really not a lot of apartments. This is like the only apartments. If you look down the street, it's all just residential, single family homes. And so to have an apartment complex in this area, I actually think back in the day, this used to be a motel. Uh, it used to, it's zoned for it and I haven't you know, really gone back in a whole lot, but I, I guarantee it was used for that in the past. It's built in the 1970s. That's what the asphalt siding is, which I'm not super a big fan of. Uh, it looks old and dated, but we, are, we still do not spend over improve on the property. So when we try to fix up a unit, we spend you know, 10, 15, $20,000 putting in quartz. We put some new carpet, we paint the place up. But uh, you can see a unit here like this number one, we haven't done anything to because those uh, 
those uh, blinds are thin and the cheap ones, whereas this number two here, it has the uh, nice blinds and then the front door has been changed. And we really had to bring in some light in here uh, just to kind of make sure that it's safe. And so we brought the lights in, you can see right there, uh, lights. And, but again, this is from the other angle here. We gotta get these lines redone. We trimmed all these shrubs back. This tree used to be growing over the entire uh, parking lot here. So we trimmed that way back. I brought some more lights in, like I said, and these are the other units here. Again, half of them are two bedroom, half of them are one bedroom. This is it. So basically what happened is these rents previously were a way under market rent. And so I purchased the property for $1.8 million. I put about uh, $800,000 down and then a million dollars on in debt. It's a commercial loan because it's 10 units. Again, you can see here, this is like a completely residential market uh, and neighborhood. And then also there's a really nice, another uh, really nice school right there. So anyways, um, it's really quiet. I love this neighborhood. And what's really cool is literally five minutes from here is the main hospital for our county. And uh, the other two minutes away is like malls and very much downtown Bellingham. So uh, it's great, great location. Now what we're actually gonna do with this number 10 unit, which they just moved out yesterday, we're gonna completely gut it, renovate it, and then I'm gonna do an Airbnb. Uh, first and foremost to learn, secondarily because I think we could easily get $125 per night and book it really solid because of traveling nurses for the hospital. So um, looking forward to that, that's gonna be number 10 right behind me there and we'll be renovating that throughout April. So yeah, we purchased the place for $1.8 million and currently it's well worth 2.3 million. Mostly due to the fact that a forced depreciation, just cleaning the place up, getting some lights on here, a painting, like all the little basic things. More importantly, it was the increase in rents. So when I bought it, it was about a four and a half cap. So if we assume that a four and a half cap is still what we would use for this property today, which in our area now three and three and a half is being used, but let's just say it's four and a half. We have almost doubled the rents um, on all these units from seven, $800 per month in rent to 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. There's someone paying $1,700 per month in rent on a two bedroom, two bath in here. And yeah, we have to put, you know, 10, 15, $20,000 in each unit to improve those. But the the amount that we were able to get, the return on that investment is fantastic. So this is a great property. Um, I have not sold it. I have not realized $500,000 in gains. I don't plan on doing so because if I do so, I'm gonna have to pay a bunch of taxes. Uh, rather, what I have done is that increase in $500,000 in equity. I still have that $800,000 in cash in the property, which essentially means I've paid off 70% of the value of this property, which means I can go get a loan backed up buy this property with all the equity and that's what we've done in order to be able to grow augusta lawn care and my other businesses uh as we were scaling up and it requires a lot of cash that's what we're using uh this real estate for is to be able to make loans against that equity so it's kind of what we're doing and i like to show this because i do believe that as business owners we can get so locked into our business and what we do and our equipment and our trucks and all the rest of it and we've got to realize that at the end of the day we are investors and we are building our business like a investment tool like a machine and uh, you have the alternative of of spending money in your business is spending money on real estate or stocks or bonds or things like that. And you start looking at your business as an investor instead of as someone who mows grass or someone who does landscaping. If you start thinking like that, your returns will be better. You'll become more, much more of an educated investor. And when I look at our franchisees at Augusta Lawn Care and everyone in Augusta Nation, I don't look at it as like, okay, let's go mow grass. Let's like learn how to great, build a great lawn care business. That's great. But in three to five years, when someone's joined Augusta Lawn Care, they're gonna be starting to think about, okay, like where do I put this money? I expect after five, six years, someone to have a business that's generating a lot of profit. Well, where do we put that profit in a way that is most tax efficient? Because it's not gonna be necessarily uh, just putting in a savings account. It's going to be taxed at 30, 40% if I do that. Whereas if I can uh, figure out how to put it into real estate or in the stocks or building a second business or building a second or third location of Augusta Lawn Care. If we can learn how to teach them how to do that, that will allow them to preserve that wealth without spending a whole bunch of money on taxes. So that's the goal. That's why I've bought 20 units uh, like this over the past couple years to learn the game and be able to teach our franchisees at Augusta Lawn Care over the next several years as they become more established and more profitable. So thank you all so very much. Hope that was helpful and a little bit educational for you. Take care. Have a great day.